I've got some fun digital papers here from Poco Doodles. So let's make some Christmas cards. Hey guys, it's Beth. Welcome. I am here today with the Poco Doodles Super Sponsor Hop that's in conjunction with Kendra's Card Challenge. And I am going to be using some of these fun patterns from the Bella Bear Christmas Papers Set 2. I love the plaid and the polka dots, and then I pulled in um, the Christmas tree to kind of play off that bluish green that's kind of there in the plaid. So I chose these three pattern papers to work from, and like I said, they are digital, so I printed them. And then they also had some, um, the Bella Bear Christmas greetings and sentiments. And so I'm going to use some of these. Like I accidentally made an error when I was printing. I think my printer feeded it through wrong, but I'm going to be using some of these sentiments on my cards as well. And I'm going to be using two sketches from Kendra's card challenge number 12. I'm going to be using sketch number two and sketch number six. So let's make a couple cards. I am starting with card number two, and I did pull some red cardstock from my stash. It's got some tiny little hearts embossed on it, and I just thought that was cute with the kind of cute and whimsical paper patterns that I was using. And so I will be using that for the card mats and then mats for my sentiment layer as well. For the first card, I am using the plaid and the polka dot as my main panel elements and then we'll be layering those up with some white cardstock and then I do bring in a lot of scrap cardstock you'll see me add that to the backs of some of the layers just to make sure everything lays evenly since we do have a lot of overlapping and layering going on and while I am working on this first card, I just wanted to take a couple minutes to tell you more about the hop. This is a collaboration, and so there are other participants who will be using some of these Polka Doodles products as well. All of the participants will be linked in the description box below. And Polka Doodles is a super sponsor for Kendra's card challenge number 12. And you can find, I will try to link the the papers and the sentiments, the digital downloads for those on the Poco Doodle website. I will try to remember to add a link for those for you as well if you want to check them out. They did have a bunch of cute images. I had not used Poco Doodles before, so I was excited to be able to give them a try. Let me know if you've ever used Poco Doodles. I'd heard of them, but I had not actually used them. So this was a fun something fun and new for me to try. I am throwing in that strip of a little strip of the Christmas tree paper. It's what Kendra calls for as the sentiment strip on her sketch, but I'm actually going to put my sentiment on the bigger rectangle that's going to go in the center of the cards. So I just decide to bring in that third pattern that I had as kind of more of a decorative strip. And then there you can see me adding some of those little scrap white layers to the left side so that the banner will lay. And then I do layer my sentiment on some of the red, more of that red cardstock. And I decide to go with have a holly jolly Christmas as my sentiment for this one. So I just trim it down and layer it up. Since this is a hop, there will be a prize giveaway. So if you check out all the videos that will be linked in the description box below, go ahead and like and leave a comment, a nice comment for all of the participants on their videos. And then you can come back and fill out it, the form, the prize giveaway form, which will be linked in the description box below as well. And you can have a chance to win a digital prize from Kendra. I will also link Kendra's card challenge number 12 down in the description box. So if you have not 
tried her this challenge, the challenge number 12, you can get some more information and the sketches down in the description box below as well. I'm going to add my card to my card base. And I had an, the rest of that little thin strip I had cut for the front, I decided to add what was left of it. It fit perfect on the inside of my card there. I always like to add scraps on the inside just to kind of give it a little extra something. And then I just add a little white dot off to the left, just like Kendra Sketch called for. So that finished up card number, well, card sketch number two, which was my first card. And now I'm going to move on to number six. This time I'm using the Christmas tree and the polka dot papers as my focal patterns. And I will be layering those up on some white cardstock as well. One nice thing about Kendra's card challenges is you can do all of the cutting, you know, the cutting guides that she gives you. You can go ahead and do all the cutting guide and then make all the cards. Or if you only want to make a couple of the cards, each sketch does give you dimensions for all of the pieces. So if you just want to make one or two cards like I'm doing today, you don't have to go through all of the cuts. You can just use the dimensions on the card sketch and cut each individual card that you need. This time I decided to use the Happy Christmas sentiment and I cut it too close there on the left side. I had meant to leave more space over there and cut it closer on the right so that I could fishtail the left like the sketch called for but I cut it a little too close on the left so I just decided to flip the layout of the card so that the two banner strip, you know, the fishtailed banner strip elements actually started from the left instead of the right. So I did kind of flip flop my pattern paper pieces as well so that the sizes would match up with the with this kind of the same layout just in reverse. So adding my fishtail cuts here and if I am doing two layers like if I'm doing a top and matte layer with a fishtail cut I do like to cut my angles like I will cut them together so that the angles match so I just layer them up and then make them flush on the side that I am cutting and then cut out my fishtail banner. And sometimes I may have to clean one of the layers up, but it's still at least the angles match. If I try to do it freehand, for, you know, like one separate from the other, they aren't even close. So it's just easier for me to go ahead and do them together. I'm going to layer my pattern papers and get everything assembled here. And again, I'm using a bunch of white paper, white cardstock scraps to kind of help even up my layers that hang off the edges. And so you can see I'm actually lining things up to the left there. So kind of an easy way to fix my mistake. Although if you are a Bob Ross follower or believer, then you know that there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Happy trees. So my this is my happy tree card for today. I have happy trees a lot, but this one I think it turned out just fine. So it takes me a while to do all the little layers. I feel like I could have planned this a little bit better, but I do finally get all of my layers added to the back and then can go ahead and adhere everything down to my card map. And I just, I like the, the colors. The, they're kind of, it's a mixture of traditional and non-traditional and so I think it's just happy Christmas colors. For some reason, they just make me happy just looking at them. So thank you to Polka Doodles for giving me the opportunity to try out these super cute papers and sentiments. I had a lot of fun with these two cards. 
So I've got one more piece that I need to add my layers to and then I promise I'm done with the scrap pieces. Add on my sentiment and then I can go ahead and put my card panel onto my card base and I did use standard white cardstock to make A2 card bases. And then I do have a little strip of that plaid left and so I'm just going to add that to the inside of this card and this card is done. So please again be sure to check out all the participants linked in the description box below. Follow along with the hop. Fill out the giveaway form so you can have a chance at a prize. Thank you so much for your time today and hope you all have a very crafty day.